Hello and welcome. Uh, hello, I am Casa Sheva here, and welcome to this new series here. And yeah, I'm back uh, with a new series, and as you can see, it's solemn running. Uh, yeah, solemn running football. And this is oh, I should. Uh, this is uh, FM head coach has done it to me. Is and. Uh, has boosted the facilities and he has done yeah database with them but uh, he's gone through another guy uh, so I'm just going to put that in the <coughs> description but yeah our facility has been boosted up we are they are an amateur team in real life as well so that's not surprising we have uh, adequate average and if we would see, let's take a random team here, they're pretty poor so yeah, I think everyone here is, every, I don't know, I think it's like division 2 or division 3 where it is like half professional. But yeah, we <laughs> that's the issue we might lose. There, we, I checked on the team, is really good. So, want us to get, oh man, that's <laughs> promoted to, from Division 6. So, I guess the, yeah, they're just going to straight up. I'm just going out for some head face or such. So, yeah, I, I'm starting this. Uh, I saw that he did like different challenges, and I was like, well, this was a good chance, and I w wanted to do a lower league management save. I don't know if we... I guess we have a good start to go off with, with all the youth plays. I think we have some... Oh no, actually none. <laughs> we still have pretty good plays, I guess you will. Uh, so yeah, they are like... Or no, you, you will get to know more about them in this segment here, so... Yeah, but the main, I guess the main goal is just going up through the leagues and such. I guess I should say, which I did not mention in that intro, is that... Uh, Salem Commune is a municipality with about 15, 16,000, so not that big. <laughs> uh, weirdly here, I believe in the editor. Uh, running and Salem isn't even... Okay, it's not really a city, to be fair. Very small city, just 15,000, but then it says Stockholm instead, actually, so the telly is more near, <laughs> just a mile away. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be really interesting, especially since we are just amateur. I don't have the logos. I thought the logos would be available, but I don't have them yet. Uh, I want to all have all the logos. I have the logo for running Salem football, but I want to have them all, and I saw one that had done the logos, but they are not. And the where he uploaded, it's a new web page now, so it's just totally new. So I don't believe I. I'm going to try to find some, uh, but right now I just found down to division two. But yeah, let's just go to the intro. About, uh, get to know Sal, uh, Salem's commune a little bit better, so let's just do that. Salem is located located in the northwestern part uh, of the ancient Södermanland province of Törn, now Söder Törn, in the su southern Stockholm community between larger municipalities of Botkyrka and Södertälje. A large number of ancient remains south of Bornsjön shows the Bay of Lake Mälaren is a good place to live. Unbroken sequence from the Stone Age to our time. The oldest memorial is Solemn's Church uh, from the beginning of the 12th century. Ancient memorial a uh, path is built on the church and shows, among other things, grave sites, tombstones uh, from Iron and Bronze Age. The first mention in Wrighton Salem is the farm of 
Sabi, which already mentioned in Bovid legend. Between Sabi and the border of Bodkyrka lay Sabi Gården, which is first mentioned in 1330. At the beginning of the 20th century, the city of uh, Stockholm bought all the farms bordering to bordering the Bornsjön. The reason for purchasing the properties was the Stockholm's need to protect Bornsjön's supply, uh, water supply throughout the purchasing of the properties gain control of all influence in inflows. The municipality council of Salem was introduced in 1990s. Running it becomes a municipality community in the 1950s was uh, granted a municipality and semblan and from 1936 to 1957 the municipality council the municipality council special form uh, for certain Salem got his first municipality office in 1922 Salem uh, was a municipality part of Bodkyrka uh, turned out to be a nine year brigade on the 18 on January the 1st 1983 Salem was resurrected res res resurrected as a own municipality running a uh, or no Salem municipal Salem commune yeah, uh, running a Salem uh, football is a result of a merger uh, of the football section of running a escort formed in uh, 1923 and EF, EFK Salem formed in 1972. The merge took place in 1991 and the first season was 1992. In the highest they played in 1989, uh, Esko played in Division 3 Östra, ja Östra Svealand. In Salem football has two uh, football fields. Salem Svalen which has real grass and Berja IP which has artificial. The ladies play in Division 3 while the The man plays as Division 6 and there is where we start our story. Okay, so we are here again. So I hope you learned a little bit more about uh, Salem and running it. I thought it would be fun just like second yellow card is <laughs> just fan dumbing now. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, uh, as you can see all generated players because I'm pretty sure that there are no or there are plays in the real thing that it's like, yeah, it's like no great. We have no no transfer, no wait. I guess this isn't surprising. And we have actually, okay, he's, he's assistant, so we have actually assistant. The weird thing is that well, I'm not sure. It might be wrong. <laughs> I was kind of maybe. He's called that <laughs> the assistant in real life, but uh, maybe not. Okay, so we have some youngsters. I'm really excited about Andre Andre Holmquist, uh, which is the own product. I guess I will see this one. Yeah, of course you're going to say they're born in Stockholm, even if that makes no sense whatsoever, since Stockholm is like what is it? 30 kilometers away or even more uh, Victor Johansson's a pretty good wingers here or pretty good for this I guess not too bad there 27 though and Muhammad Ali as well and uh, not good finisher it's everyone and he's a rack and is everyone here considered a homegrown? Almost everyone. Muhammad Ali. He looks pretty good. I think we need defenders if we 
Uh, I'm checking on everyone. So yeah, nothing in particularly super exciting as you can see here. But we are in Division 6. Nihad Miletic. Diego Sal Salgado, so very <laughs> Nicaraguan, Swedish Nicaraguan. And yeah, we have a lot of players though. Some that have potential but are not great now. I guess the same that is still good enough. I, if we're checking on the worst player here, he's, he's still. Yeah, he's a good player still for Division 6, so it might be that we have gotten actually a good squad. How is he good enough? Potential for fourth division. I guess we're. I guess I'm just that low down in the divisions, so. Here is the squad depth. I don't know. I think I might play this because he is that good. So, yeah, <laughs> still not great though, uh, star wise. Probably still have the number of center midfielders. Seems like some positions we have a lot of players. So, uh, cent yeah, central defenders <laughs> too. And as you can see, wingers we have. I guess it's not still. Many are there. there are. What is that? That's 18 players so still. Since we don't have any money, I don't know. We might bring up some of these new players as well. Louve Grudin, best one. So I guess we will just see. I guess I will just see how good they are, right? I've never <laughs> played this load up, man. Yes, potential, but it does look like. Would like some better judging ability as well. Jakob Pettersson. Oh, it's so difficult to know. Really with these players. He is definitely free kicks, passing, technique, player work, great. Good pace. You can play all around also on the right wing there. He's decent but not outstanding. I guess the yeah, mental is the main thing. These, yeah. I guess we will just see. I might not do that many changes to begin with. It would be lovely to be able to keep this youngsters at least. We, I guess we will just see. And as you can see here, we have a lot. They play in Salem Salem, which wasn't the uh, pitch I showed uh, there in the end. It's. Uh, Barry AP, but Solemn Swallen, yeah, they have a real turf or real grass. So, yeah, we are just going to play through every. It's, it's a little bit funny. <laughs> every single team. I don't know any of these teams or where they. Guess it would be Stockholm Sarah, but I have no idea where they actually play or whatever. And I was surprised. There is a lot of matches apparently in Vision 6. I don't know if this is accurate, but yeah, uh, I guess not. So, even <laughs> finish the bottom. This is actually not the bottom. I believe it's. I saw another uh, database which was down to Division 8, but I think it's. You can even go down to like Division. So, yeah, 36 matches is really weird because if we go up here through the leagues. Which was one, 30 matches in Division 5, then you can get relegated. 4th Division, 28 to 30 matches. 3rd Division, 24 matches. Uh, or 22. Uh, now I have so many divisions here, so. I want to go to 2nd, 26. And then. So it's weird. So we have most, and then we have. Then it's like 30 matches and 30 matches. And then in the top side, it's also 30 matches. But yeah, it's weird. It's really weird that we will play more than anyone else. I guess we just see, as you can see, we have no scouts or basically nothing right now. But we are. Pretty high up in the table, 
and swax swax that fourth that's interesting but we don't have the best players according to this but i guess we <laughs> it says e1 so i guess it's close so, oh that that's uh, that's a place i know where we least i don't un man this is comfy <laughs> okay this is freaking everyone so that's very confusing so they have not divided it up just from division 4 where they're divided no not really there either in like different separate division i mean it is separate division but it says the same so it's a little bit confusing there and uh, but they want us like i said to get promotion winning league <laughs> so this is a tough tough call but i guess we will do our best and just see how it goes and hopefully for the next episode of uh, played or list friendlies i would as well have the uh, um all the batches as well for the leagues so yeah so thank you all for watching have a good tea and a good coffee day and i see you soon again so bye